you want to introduce some of the dancing? Yes, this is Edward Liang.
Robert Mary was originally set on Christina and another gentleman, Donald Williams. And the piece, um, I was so, I found this music in Japan and I was doing another work called The Grace of Wrath which had, which had everything to do with my 12 years of Catholic school, my upbringing and how I felt about religion and, and all of that and all the contradictions I found in it, but we don't need to go all into that right now, but it was, it's all about that. And this piece of music um, was so, spoke to me so, I mean, just right away, and I was so inspired by it. I don't remember putting the piece together. I tell her that all the time. I can't remember even one step. The only thing that I wanted her to do, which was, uh, was the, the, um, the thing you do over there, what is that thing you do over there? <laughs> The second position where she was walking around. I didn't want that to be what it turned into me, just to let you in on the secret. <laughs> it turned into that because she stayed there one night. I asked her, that the idea for me was that she was going to be a broken angel. And at that point, she was just going to be teetering back and forth and falling, but never coming off point. And then one day, she just, actually it might have been opening night, she stayed. I was so blown away by this music. So I will let I want you to speak about it. Yeah, I my my memory of it, um, Dwight asked me to come to the studio today and listen to a piece of music that he had, and from the moment I heard the first note, I felt very I was moved by it, I felt very connected to it, Donald as well. It was magic and actually I think I even got tears in my eyes. It was just very the music itself is very full and very potent. And the actual work process, again, it's like why I don't actually remember. It was a very magical um, process because um, you oftentimes remember the actual process and getting to the place and experimenting and trying. But it came together very organically. Um, things in, in a collaboration, it was the three of us in the studio and trying different things. Dwight has some very clear images and things he'd like to try. But of course, his instruments are before him, which are his dancers. And so it really was a, a beautiful collaboration and I, I can't, the process was um, very gratifying and just very natural. Um, and it just became, for me personally, Donald unfortunately isn't here, but it really, I, I feel very connected to it. I don't feel like it's mine, but it's always special when a choreographer and one such as Dwight creates a piece on you and, and, and uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's very powerful and beautiful. And for me, people always say that they're touched by it, and I am equally touched by it, even when I'm dancing. It's really, it goes by so quickly. Um, you asked about the end. Um, for, interestingly enough, the first time I, I saw the end, because when you're in it, you don't see it, and I saw a video of it, and I had no idea that's what it was. I had no idea, and I just, I had to rewind several times to, even to figure it out, even though I was doing it. It just comes and un envelops and develops, and suddenly it just, it's just a really beautiful happening, and I have no idea. I don't remember doing it, creating it, so. So tell me about Ave Maria. Oh, God. No? <laughs> it's gonna make me In five about. words or less, okay. Tell me in three words or less. Well, somebody said they have one, only one word to say last night. Which is what? And it was, one of, it was my partner who I, you know Carlos, right? I never met him, but I saw him. You've met him, Claude. He knows oh. you. Oh, okay. He said, conversation I had with your mother because Carlos and I danced Ave together 
for first night at Grand Central Station, there was a, one particular year they had a stage set up at Grand Central Station and they had dancers. And um, we did Ave Maria. And afterward, Mom spoke to him and had tears in her eyes, and he had tears in his eyes. She was just saying how absolutely breathtakingly beautiful it was, and she was like, had teary eyes. So when he was telling me this again last night, uh, we both had, you know, I was just like, and he said, I don't mean to make you cry. I said, no, it's beautiful, and I didn't know that, you know? So he said, so it's not always about the steps, you know? Sometimes it's just what it makes you feel or what it reminds you of or where you go in your, in your head and in your heart. So, and everybody feels something different. But it's a very special piece. Thank you.